Hi guys, I have been real lazy. If I could do a 15 minute video of me just playing Animal Crossing and you guys would stare at that, that would be ideal. But instead, I decided to do my go-to lazy food hacks that I've actually learned off of TikTok. Because let's be honest, people, all I've been doing is eating this quarantine season. Subscribe to this channel for a full pizza to be delivered right at your door. And don't forget to ring the bell. And that's the only way I can ring your bell. Yeah. A little weird and just a little reminder that i have a vlog channel if you're not already subscribed we would love to have you over there right now we're doing a bunch of home vlogs and other weird stuff so if you're into that we'll link the channel down below if you enjoy these types of videos give it a thumbs up and if you don't give it a thumbs down that just kind of shows me how you feel about certain content I've been snacking a lot recently. <laughs> not very proud. I'm not a big fan of Cheeto dust on my fingers. So I've been using chopsticks instead. A little bit strange of a food hack, but I love this technique. Comment below if this is one that's a little too strange for you. It's made me perfect my chopstick skills so much that I can probably put eyelashes on with it. So that's pretty cool. Here's a crazy food hack that will make your marshmallows grow four times as big. Perfect for any at-home s'mores. Now get any marshmallows of your choice, prepare your s'mores, a graham cracker, some yummy chocolate, put the marshmallow on top, pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and watch it magically grow. Ooh, ah, I love it. Finalize with a graham cracker on top, and ta-da, a beautiful at-home s'more. This has got to be the coolest breakfast hack I've ever seen. On medium heat, throw in a little bit of butter, spread it on the pan, add two already mixed in eggs on top, and two slices of bread. Flip them to get that goodness. Add your toppings of choice. Then flip the corners to pancake it in and flip it again. Bam! A juicy breakfast sandwich coming right up. Tell me this is not the coolest hack ever. Tell me in the comments. I love it. I've been getting away. Okay. All I've been craving is cookies. And no, honey, I'm not pregnant, okay? Here's a four ingredient recipe that hits that sweet spot. So in a bowl, mix one cup of brown sugar, one cup of peanut butter, one egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a cup of chocolate chips. I mix in some Reese's peanut butter chunks because my husband loves it for a little added wifey bonus. Mix it all up. Oh, don't use a freaking whisk. It gets stuck. Split the cookie dough, mix into about 12, and pop it in the oven for 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. When they're ready to go, let them cool off for 10 minutes. And no, they are not raw. I promise you, I burned my last ones by thinking this. They're just super chewy and look at that. Look at this yumminess. I wish I could share it through the screen. If you're craving something a little more cakey, this food hack is for you. Take some Oreos, take any milk of your choice. I prefer this one. Now pour in a little less milk. I would say about four tablespoons to two cookie ratio. I know I'm getting all mathy here. I did a lot more than that ratio, so I added more Oreos. Mix, 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 mix. Then you guys pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. That's all you need for your lazy booty. I realized my mug was not microwavable, so I actually had to switch it up. Yikes, make sure you do that. And once it's out, you have the best dark and fluffy cake ever. Look at this, oh my God. Get fancy, add some strawberries, some fudge, some caramel and call it an animal crossing night sorry guys i'm obsessed with the game what can i do maybe i can film a gameplay for you guys Ooh, because homegirl is getting lazier and a chill playing game is what i need comment below This next food hack requires no skills at all. Trust me. Take some bread with a spoon, press down to create a little dent in the bread. Add your egg. I recommend cracking it in a cup and adding it on top. Add your toppings of choice and put it in the oven for seven minutes at 350 degrees. Look at this. The best part is you can make plenty for your entire family, so less of a mess. And your precious time is good so that you can play more Animal Crossing, of course. Okay, sorry guys, I'm done. <laughs> If you only have one tray, but have two pizzas, the struggle people. This food hack is life-changing for me. It's been cray cray, cut your pizza in half, then use the corners of the tray to set them in. This may require a little bit of pushing, but eventually it'll fit and you'll have two pizzas for the price of one pan. We love a cheap hack. You guys, I've been using a strainer wrong my whole life and you probably have too. Check it out. If you usually do it like this, you are doing it wrong. You run into juggling two things at once and it's not draining properly, blah, 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 blah. So instead, clip your strainer. Like this one has a little clip. I had no idea. Or position it like this and the water will drain better and your pasta won't overflow. Yeah, yeah. If you're into dunking your Oreos, think again. Use a fork. This is much easier. Da, 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 da. Quarantine thinking me going crazy. Okay. Anyways. If you enjoyed this video, sorry for all the craziness, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with one bored ass friend, please. And subscribe if you have not already. Don't forget to hit that bell so I can ring your bell and give you a pizza. You already know. I'm going to go back to playing Animal Crossing and chilling with my Nook villagers. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>